Hey everyone, uh, Salesforce Shorts here. Uh, in this video, we're just going to talk about name credentials. So in in, in two, of, two of our previous videos, we created a external credential, um, a name credential that's related to it. And then inside of the dev console, we made a call out to get call outs with the name credential. So in this video, we're just going to talk about uh, perm permissions for the name credential. So first thing that we'll probably need to do is if you go to uh, well, there we go. If you go to permission sets, um, there's a few different ways you can do this. You can either create a new permission set, which is probably what we'll do first. And then just click new. Um, for this, let's just call this, um, let's call this named cred access. Okay. So inside of this permission set, uh, you've got a few different options here. You'll see something like named credential access. So if you click on that um, and you go edit, you'll see that there's like no options here, okay? So, so that's all good. I'm just gonna go back and then go back again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to external data sources, click on that. So, so that's one thing you can do but we're just going to actually go to, to object settings so inside of object settings if you search for external you'll see user external credentials and it's got no access at the moment so just click on that once you've clicked on that just click x oh, edit sorry and then just um give yourself all the permissions click save and then go to manage assignments in the assignment, just add yourself or whoever is going to be using the name credential. And then once you've done that, you should save it. Just can't see, see the, oh, there we go, yeah, at the bottom. <laughs> Next and save. All right, perfect. So we've added that assignment to us. So now if I go to, if I go to users and I find myself in production KD, um, you should see that permission sets here, okay? Named cred access. So that's good. All right, so if you if you scroll down here, you should also be able, be able to see, um, let's actually go back to up here. Do, do, do. Oh, sorry, if you go into the profile. So if you go to profile in system admin, depending on what, what, what profile you're using, and you go to enable, name credential access um this is going to take you to the same permissions that that we saw before so you don't really need to create a permission set for that another thing is if if we search for external and you go down you'll see the use user external credentials so instead of credit creating a permission sets you can also just um, check all these checkboxes here or just make sure they're checked and that means that your user has access to it or the profile. Okay, so the next step that we need to do is go into name credentials, um, go to external credential, open this up, and then in here you'll see something called permission set mappings. So all we need to do is just create a new mapping here, permission set mapping. Um, here you wanna select probably the permissions that you cre just created with the access. So I'm gonna. I'm going to select that um, sequence number we'll just leave as one uh, name pr principles fine um, click add and in here we can just um, give it a name let's just call this uh, permission set name cred and just give it a value of one oops yeah that's all good all right and save so now that that's saved if we go to dev console um, if you were getting an error here for, for the external credential, you should be able to come back in here and it executes and it should work. So yeah, like you can see, um, made the call out. If I go to debug logs um, and we open this up, we've got a Chuck Norris joke, which is pretty cool because um, that's, that's where the uh, get request is going. It's going to Chuck Norris jokes. So yeah, uh, if you found this video helpful, or even if you didn't, <laughs> please subscribe. Thanks.